Yeah, good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel on YouTube. Today we're working on a BMW. How are this? G20 or G30? We don't know. Let us look on this right here. It's uh, I want to come out. This is a 2020 model year. And um, the last part of the thing is this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. C E four, five, six, eight, three. And that's the boy, I so. saw. I'm making an tell. That's the area. I want three turkeys, a five series. See? See, there's a blood chart, five series, right? So, G30. We have a program, a brand new domain, body domain controller, right? The brand new body domain controller already installed on the car. There it is, right on there at the bottom. And this is the one that we take out. This one has water ingress in it. This is the the used one as you can see right here a bolt broken off right here and there are some bolts right here all right somehow this one the part number is different there's a part number there a 5a0e7b2 and then the paper this is our receipt which from brahman motors which sell bmws and also a bmw dealership here is the um here's the other number this is a VIN number i think Order number them called. You see that? This is the number they're supposed to written on the model. C E four five six eight three. The same thing right here. Them call the order number. See that? Right, so them call it. Them call it the order number for some reason. Why? We don't know. That is why they use it for zeroing on the car and the right part for the car. All right, the part for the car, the part number for the car for the new con for the new BDC in the car is five A nine zero eight E eight. And then the one, the, the part number that is the part number that is on the old model is roughly where is it where the fuck is it yeah see it huh? see the see it, huh? the last seven digits right here it's different 5a0e7b2 and then this one would be that one would be you see that this one the motherfucker right here will be five. The new one, the new part number for the new BDC five A90 eight E eight. And the one here, this is the part number. So you can see two of them different. You see them? So one here. This is the new one. This part 6133 is the directory in ETK where you find it. Alright. And this five here, here you can see the seat, two part number different. Just block out these, block out that part. Come on, come on. You just block out. You just block out that with my finger. You know? You just block out this part. You can see the two part number there. You see both of them don't look the same, you see them? The ending numbers and the middle numbers are different. You see them? So that's it right there. Boom. Car no reading out. So. Alright, this one must turn off the fucking thing. Terminal 15 for 5 seconds. Let's turn off the terminal for. Alright, see that? I'm going to zero. This should go away. If I click OK, so wait 10 seconds. So change the park status and wait 10 seconds. Then change the testing as diagnosis again. I'm going to turn down back. Tap this button on the G30s and G20s. You have to basically tap this button. The stars that button three times in eight tenths of a in eight tenths. In, tap it three times in eight tenths of a second. One, two, three. See the light come on. The cluster. Boom. And we can click OK. That's you know. It goes through. All right. All right. I don't know what the fuck is that. Fucking bullshit. So I got them car right here. Fuck. This BMW is bought as an action. It's a BMW twin power turbo. And this is a battery booster pack. To show you what the current voltage is in the car. Right now, so. This is what the shit look like. 
Done a party and boost. Charge right here. This point it, point, point it to this stroke right here. Right here, boom. And um, charge time is 120 minutes. It's, it was at 120 minutes right here. This line is the take time going down, going down back, going back to um, I think it's zero will be right here. And zero will be right there. Nevertheless, I'm gonna plug in this charger here. Bring this out. And grab this motherfucker. Right. So we have a strategy. Put it my foot on this shit. Connect up that to that, and then we're gonna make sure that the battery is on again. See, it's back on. Oh, wait a minute. Red on that, brown on that. Oh, oh, this is dead. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh the charge is being come from this cable right here. That's here. Right here. The ground side here. I think that one is dead or something. It's not connected to it. This one, this one, this one. So there go. All right, so our voltage is here, 13 volts. That's what we need to program this BDC. And look at the VIN number. There goes the VIN number, you need to see? The VIN number right out, the last seven digits. That's what they call the order number on the receipt. When you order a brand new Ethereum from the BMW dealership. BMW dealership. There is the number, the VIN, the, uh, the VIN number car. I think I come here two times before, a couple of months back, to program a BMW. I do not know if it's just G30 or another car, but somehow, the VIN number in it was different. It was not this card. The VIN number was really different. I don't know where they do with that one. I think that one was an X3 or X1. I think it was an X1. And it's not here anymore. I don't see it. It's not here anymore. It's gone. This is AAA of Miami. AAA of Miami. Boom. What do you have to program? A brand new. Well, this is a G30 shit. 540i and X drive four wheel drive shit. So, let me, let me put my orange card in the car. I was gonna take this out, but I don't need it. I don't need this bad boy right here. Fuck you, and you can <laughs> they want to ask whether any of them, yo, that's how they stay in a dusty children and fall in the angel. That's how they say, yo, take the thing and come down. We sell it back and boss going to try to let a few them people jump in and take all their money back. They got to fuck out their mother. That's how they say, you can't go best buy, go buy in the game. Because they posted them, rob you. They rob you, I said they not take by the game. <laughs> dog shit them, man. You have to, you dog, you have to, give, you have to, be, you have to be a wicked more time and murder people, dog, in a corporate world. So they don't come play with them fucking evil dog. Anyway, let me stop the video and I want to pause it. Yeah, man. We're back on the BMW G30, you know. Alright, this is the latest I level target. Come on. This is the latest I level target that is now coming with the BDC from the from the from the, from the dealership. Alright. And unless of course this is I step shipment here. I think the current I step target. Will be for 2023 or uh, November 2023. This will be much to basically the production date of the car. But this, no, this car comes out 2020, so it will be March. The step shipment for this will be March of 2020. It will be right here for under that's S15A. 
um, 20-03. All right. The version number would be the end, end one. It wouldn't be matter what number it is. Not really important. All right. All right. Now for you. So we can see that. Look at the control unit tree. Look at the, the equipment. Show some things is accepted here. All right. All of these will be accepted whenever we program a new BDC, right? VGM in blue, programming aboard. KFOS. All of these will be alighted, come back to life whenever we finish to release this. So, we're going to use these and do some work in here now. Yeah, man, call up the post to them real quick. I need to. A gentle board or some enemy that reserve yeah s15 we need to go here so <laughs> the ice stuff shipment for that carrier would have been from G20 to G30. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that the production date is from 2020 of March. Come here and look. We look at it, the production date is 03. So we put 20 and we put 03. So this car is now 2021. We choose S15 here. Uh, we see what is the year right out here as S15 and vehicle details. See there? It really tells us this is the current eye level target that may be on the kind of actual on the car right now. S15, target selector. We we'll make sure we choose that. Have a click on it. Let's just see if we connect to the ZGM. Oh wow, connection established. Come on. All right. Oh, the vehicle FA, bomb box out, we never make it. Rascal, we never make the vehicle FA. We never read out the one from the old module. Fucking FA. We forgot to create it. Yeah, take time. Shit, we forgot to stop the video now. Jesus fucking Christ, though. We are decoding the VIN number. It's gonna tell us the ice step shipment over here. Click on more details. We will go down to the integration level works. 
battle of here. This is it right here. S15A203524. So we'll go in ESIS. Make sure we put here. Five twenty four. Make sure I check my eye level again. Eye level shipment would be fifteen S fifteen A twenty zero three. Make sure I say it right here. S fifteen A dash twenty dash zero three dash twenty four. Did I get that wrong? I get fucked. All that can be changed. The last would be S15. Dash. 2011. You look at the one that is in the. It's right there. <laughs> 21. 11, 5, 40. Two one two and eleven five four two. We put the same thing there too. Right. Make sure right here I steps written. This is the confirmation I steps written. See? After you click this, boom. Alright, we pause the video on the phone and go make the the, the FA. The vehicle order. Okay now. I finish use ESIS and make the vehicle order. The vehicle order is the FA right here. I just make it a while ago inside of ESIS. I copy some details from here like the VIN number. And you want to see that the VIN number is the same thing here. Come on, camera, adjust properly. You want to make sure that it's WBA JS 3C0 XL CE 4 Five six eight three. Yeah, and the climate there, there and the lock code is C ten, and then also the the upper story code is L L C E W, and um, the type key is J S thirty three. And some some version, some software will give you the model will give you the model code as JS forty four for the G thirty with this VIN number, but it will give you an error when you calculate a vehicle profile in E six. It will give you an error, and it will show you the code that is the error. You know, it showed me that JS forty three was the error, and I go back and I look here. See that the model code here for this VIN number. See. So we have model code, we have basic type and lead type. So we can look over here, you can see the three of them, see them? We have the JS43 as the model code. And then the basic type in that line, JS33. The issue of code again right here, lead code, JS43. So you should choose one in the middle, JS33 is the basic type you use in the vehicle order in the FA. So we calculate vehicle profile and we can see the build level of the car right here. The build level is March 2020. Alright. And then we can see package for car. There's a sport limo. And we can see the options right here. You can see them all in detail. See them? All these sell off a code. All of them going all the way down to the last one of them. Alright, these are they right here. You go back on here. It's website, you go vehicle equipment, optional. 
this is all of them right here that I copied. I make sure that they're all correct, no error. Otherwise, you might have misfunction or malfunction in the car. All right, all of them. Right here. All right, so this is make sure the V number is right. So this is right reload right here in F8 top. So we're going to write it. We're going to go here. Go back to master. And then we're going to write. See the NOC? The confirmation right here. FAFP written. So we kind of go back here. And go to calculate and tell. Make sure we get the same VIN number. All right, good. Then we click that and we click activate FA. We should calculate the vehicle profile without any errors. And we we'll click expand and we look at we see the same VIN number. Here's the same VIN number. We we'll just write to the new uh, BDC controller. Right there. So the same number, the same thing we read out right here from yesterday. The same VIN number. See, both of them now. This we just read out the FA. We just write to the new body domain controller. You can see that the VIN number in the FA that I made comes up back when I read it from the, the BDC. The same as this one has read out of the new BDC. So first of all, when you put in a new BDC in a car from the dealership, they're supposed to put their order number on the form as the last seven digits of the VIN number. Then they write this in the module and the BDC the, and condition the key with an encryption code. They condition the BDC with an encryption code with the VIN number for the key right here to be identified. All right, and so that the cluster light can be turned on when you hit the start stop one three times right there. All right, so we write the FA to that. And then we go over here. We can now see that the ISEP, we can now see um, the gun co come here. We go right here, click complete. It highlight that. Then we go down here and choose the right ISEP shipment. We go down to 27. Twenty 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 of March. I think it will be five forty. Yeah, that one. And we will go back to see that one. We go here. Close this. Then we come back here. Oh, right, so we'll go back here, more details. Come down here. See? I live works. 20, 0, 3, 5, 24. Okay, it's 5, 24, I put 5, 40, so I'm going to change it here. I'll do the number at the end, doesn't really matter. You can still calculate, yeah. Um, you can still calculate with that. But nevertheless, we just go and find 524. Here is it. And then we read out SVT. There was the SED for the BDC body, blah, blah, blah. We're going to now look and calculate. We're going to calculate SOL, which is an update for the new BDC body and the new BDC gateway. As you can see here, unknown means the software flash file must be written to the gateway, which is really a GTB file, a gateway table file. And also BDC body also have more files to be written to it. All right? a, long, a large amount of files written to this BDC. We're going to see when it's finished. We're going to stretch out this long down, way down. Now you see the SVT also have the bin shoulder that we just write in the new FA tool, you see? All right, good. We pause the video and we wait. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, you see me out there? See there? So the BDC body and address party. See how many coding files are going to be now? Three of them. So the gateway table file now, right? which is also represented by this one right here in blue, unknown. All right, boom. So we're going to start out the BDC button on the gateway first. We're going to save the saw. We're going to save the SVT, ISD, and, and blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just pause the video. This is a very long extended video. Boom, box, uh, uh, I wonder what I'm going to do with the panda post here. How long? 
I saw the blood clot video around the no, 115. A 15, we never got up on a video. A blood clot ready there. We are calculated. And tell her 15 bomb buckler things we can take out of it. Usually EPS2 and SM2 and SRR. Just said they said they said those unit those software units are missing, but they're actually not. It's because those control models can be read from the car over the bus network from the new BDC via ESIS, right? Because the gateways is not programmed correctly and also the body domain control. So that's why it says that right here these software um, units are missing. These file names right here, right here. So we have these to copy. Alright. So EPS2, SM2 and SRR. So we have a blood clot, copy them, put there. Copy them and put them in another notepad. So. so we have copy or type in this, this and that. So we have edit it all this. Put forward. That's how we do it, you see it. That's the BMW program, I'm going to go fuck it with. I'm going to copy that for film. I'm going to pause the fucking phone. Yeah, we edit the transaction list so we now have it now the right way. I say I get them glaring at the bomb buckler. Same time you have to stop the bomb buckler light, I'll just come to the bomb buckler screen, dog. For no reason at all in a yacht. Alright, so we check both gateway body there, so. Um, BDC but then BDC gateway you now we're gonna try to start the process so we make sure so the ice step shipment right right there and boom we'll start it hmm. so I take one blood clot uh, minute fuck it started already to put to us see that the steering all I got long to blood clot uh. <laughs> yeah man the boy there like that shit a blink up they do it, that shit come on. Ross class, it's an array to put through. See the yellow bar, I'm gonna get, get a green bar, I'm gonna get a yellow one. See there? Oh, the blood clad come now, come back and work. Fuck. That's just the ABS, I'm gonna have to go perform dynamic, uh, dynamic sensor adjustment. Come on, come on. Fucking shit, man. Dynamic sensor adjustment right here. Do you see this right here? So. That work with the EPS and so on. And through this, go offline, it come up with this right here. So dynamic stability control. Anti locking braking system. See there? Now I get some check control message from the screen that we should clear up all of this. No problem. We saw this out. Bomb buckler thing. You see, bomb buckler screen. Them thing ain't ever come up in the thing in the dog. You see? See that we get a yellow bar with the warning. All the better. It do good. So I kind of feel good when I'm a blood clot place. Go back and tell calculate it and click yes or so. Load back this coming with the edit tell this. See that now? I'm going to come back and so read out the bomb buckler thing them now. Now. All right, this is what the BDC look like before we program it. See, look like I'll remember that. I'll remember come back black right now after we go here. So, and click read out. You see, you see, see them there. Fuck, I'm jump back to life. Them come back to black, everything come back to life. And all the mo other models, them not respond. You see them. So, the fuck, I'm not sure. Some out of show that ATM module. It ain't a, um, what you call it? Wrong hardware brand, but if you go look. No, so it's not that wrong hardware brand. Because see the hardware electronic, the blue one, red out is 4AB, 4AB1, and the one determined a 4AB1. If we just recalculate it again. Yeah, man, the ATM right, man. Can't nothing change from it. I can't do them tell man, nothing change. I just see BDC them change. Because I care about it on action. Probably water damage. You see, it's it all I show you, said the FLM. The two LI models are show wrong hardware brand. Oh, the bomb buckler to show, man. Yeah. The fuck are they look like a Yoshi, see that? The, 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 the blue one, the blue ID red out, the blue ID actually red out is 58AB, 5AB, and the one determined by is a triple two, or that, six. That's why I show them as two green arrow. Hold on there. Fuck. It just shows all the SZD, the roof function center like this. A wrong hardware bomb buckler up here and what on a saw. Can I see the, so the, the, the HWAP of hardware application is in a block 2C70 match to the production here a month. And, the, and the probably the model code, the car basic um, model code. Right? And then hardware electronic, you see them? 
And this one of these not much. And this one of them in a bomb book not much. All them H double. See how much of them? The F Z D have so much function as you see. Load cloud, load that stuff alright. See that? You can look for the ending numbers them you know. You can look for the ending numbers of the H W E L. You can see them. You can know. The blue one is what read out of the module. See? 1D95 match to 1D95. When you enter, you see a red ID match. You see one of the blue that means the hardware variant correct. You see? So if you have two, if you have, two, if you have, if you have them alike, if you have the N number, they like the four N number, they like come down from blue and red. You don't see them match. The hardware variant is supposed to match. I will just find which one half the. As far as missing now, not not half a blood clot. You see, man? You know, so now the whole of them look the same. See there? Very good. That one here. That one here. 3C, DC match with this blue one. 3-1, AC match with blue one. You see? The whole of them match going up. None of them not half a blood clot. All of those recalculate bomb buckler fell down. But we call it a day and done to put down. So all of them just go around, go around the line some more. Scroll along the line and look if no more hardware variant or hardware differences there. There's so much, there's so much file one module carry. Yeah, man, see another module there, the IHKA, the AC controller, see that? And address 78. You can see, you can see definitely that the HWEL in the red 22C7 don't match with the blue actual one, the red or 22CA. Who's the class? I like can't can program with this study, you know, because they come up with hardware, wrong hardware difference. Yo, the man is about shit and I put in you. Miss much control, module. Let me get fucked. A seat module, too. This is a driver seat module. And address 60, the one I'm going to sit down for now. It shows the right as the bomb buckler module, not much. No, but, oh, weird. Yes, a 2256, but the blue one red or the actual file in the module, a 2255, but the one determined for the 2256. <laughs> it's kind of funny in a pussy hole. Of one number half in a dog. One number at the end of the say a wrong hardware variant. It's a BMW come like from big pussy company. They don't know where my blood clot though. Too much fucking hardware difference. If you make all hardware the same and get them the same part number, and then just turn off some of the, just make sure the software. Now activated in the model for run the just make the circuit board them all the same and just just the sound of the software here alone them should manipulate and don't allow the software instruction to turn on the circuit them inside of the transistor them or inside of the EPROM chip them or the microprocessor them. That's all I'm for though. But they think if they make it all the way them because not too much money unnecessarily. And that's all they post them for them. And then just call it a day and done you. They make them too difficult you German board them and them difficult post them. Big pussy was difficult man them dog. Yes, they got to choose a higher high level target seen of twenty twenty four of March and then we go so boom and calculate so again. You see it. Let us see if the hardware difference will go away. Let us see where it's going. I'm gonna pause the video on the phone for now. Alright now we calculate so over with the high step target of twenty twenty four of, of March. Right? Look, you see? The ATM2 is see it, you don't see no more green arrow, no two green arrow, you show no more hardware difference. It's all about eye level, the right eye level calculation. See there? You don't see no more blood clot, um, two green arrow fucker. Let me scroll along and look. Let me go look a bit near the camera. You see there? You add this to two green arrow, you don't see no more two green arrow fucker. See there? The FLM2 and FLM1, you see it? And address 43 and 44, see it? The LLM are the same thing, see it? It's all about the correct high level target. The fucking production data and all those models with the production data, this car is correct. See that? I just probably the BDC alone for change. Actually, I'll know me cancel no more. See that? The, the IHK come back out black. You see it? You see it? You see it? No, you see it? See that? So the seat model, the driver seat model and passenger. Driver on 6D and the passenger on 6E. Address 6E. See that? The one of them come back with them AHL black. See that? Black. All of them. See them. I see them. No other difference. What are them all right? Bam. See that? Everything good. The car now. I'm done. Black all this now. East is done now. I'm done with East is now. Bam. Buckler. I'm going to boom and minimize them post to all that. Yeah, man. I'm going to release the eye coming out from this bomb. 
street. Free up the blood clot in you. Free. See it there? Look at the sub woman now. Let me unplug the icon because when Isis use it, it uses the gateway. You know? It uses the gateway of the icon, so if you unplug it and reset the icon. The blood clotting, dog. You say, yeah, man, you have some MP over the way there. Yeah, man, light a blink back. Yes, eight yard. Let's get ball. See there, the land come back again. The land light a blink up. System now stable, land a blink up on a set. Boom, so we got some bomb on. We come back here, so and thing and thing. And. You feel good. Work a go on, comfortable. It's supposed to come back up now with the address now 192. That one six eight, that four one, that one. And now that are the IP address the program all control models on the car. See that it come back up with one six nine. This is a good change. This is a change. That posted if a change. It's for blood cloud change. Then we go back so boom and click it up again. It's supposed to change. It's supposed to go away and come back. It's supposed to change. Yeah, it takes long for come back up now. See that we come back up with the right IP. See there? Good, that's the right one. Good, boom. Read out the car now. Say the VIN number there. Yeah, man, to go on, good, you feel good. That's, you know, we don't have a much big problem, no worry about now. I'll just um, read out the car now. And just press a boom on. We'll perform some service function. We're we'll going to perform flex ray synchronization. We we'll reset all the clocks in you know, all ECU. And then we're also going to perform start lock reset and then we can now put your foot on the brake and start the engine, you see? And so it goes you with us, so the thing set from a long time. A demo will be work. Jamaican bad boy at it again, you see it? <laughs> ah, boy. All right, we're back. See the now? All control model read out now. With 204 fault codes, so that kind of nothing. We have a wrong service function. Go vehicle management. Go eat. Oh. go on, Charlie. We're gonna perform six we're gonna perform flex ray synchronization. I don't show either part of me now on the blood uh, We're gonna say if we get back successful. Alright, there goes. The flex ray and central gateway gateway model or initialized successfully. Uh, let me look for what I'm gonna call flex ray. Fucker. Gonna perform also starter like reset. We should have hide them blood clots here if you don't want to post them. Okay, the starter motor like was reset. Alright, cool. We can end the test plan now. We're gonna delete bomb buckler out of all code. Alright. We're gonna delete every post so out. I can't come up with one bugger thing, but this and that not much. I like that. Go fuck on the woman. We are delete every post all out there. 204 for all code. So the steering there go blood clad. Car in a parking mode. So you study them right it if you turn on the blood clot and turn up the cluster everything I see. I turn them back on now. There goes. Steering wheel I go down. 
The model is not supposed to light up on the street now. I want to leave a whole quarter come back with me. I leave a whole quarter. But 30 of them supposed to. Uh, Okay, 24 fall codes remaining. Not bad. I don't know if they go start. Let me see. I got bomb buck out of Let us see if they go fucking start, you know. Boom. Bomb bus. Let us manipulate my iDrive controller. Let me manipulate my iDrive controller. Close. Close message. Push forward. I start pushing. Then have one for blood transit. Message like fuck you. The navigation are work back. Let's see. And also, fucking satellite radio supposed to work back now. Straight. Let's also find something else. So if everything read out, as activated in our legal equipment. Bomba cloud. Uh, watch ya. We will get FSC equal to activate and function. Oh, the blood clot, this is your dog. If you go get FS, satellite tuna, the FSC rejected and all of them. What oh, come this? It's not, it's, it's not supposed to be like this. The whole of them something is supposed to be activated. What the fuck are you going on for? <laughs> Let me see if they go start. A couple of them for Foot pump brake. Send the brake signal to the BDC. Boom, boom, boom. Start, start button. Come, motherfucker. The audience are come fuck with man, the focus, the auto focus on a bomb buck like this. You can't make it for silver, man. There it goes. Yeah, the engine are run like fuck right now, dog. Shut the back off, you see? I don't know why the pussy shut off. Just <laughs> <laughs> don't start the thing, man. I don't know why, you know, you yeah, see, they shut off for me, I don't know why. I'm not trouble now to blood clot. I forgot to correct the problem now. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know, I'm looking at the fall code. The pussy are running and shut off for me, blood clot. Alright, YouTube, the BDC program, the engine start and run. So, I don't know where the bomb buck out is going to give me a problem now. One buck of fucker. We just see them push the work there. Eh? Oh, the FSC for the DME is not there. See that? They need the FSC bomb buckler code them, dog. You see it? See that? They need the FSC code. And probably need also the motherfucker, the D-blocking code. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, BDC of transport mode active. Yes, that's why turn off on its own. And then also speed limit. Speed limit, engine speed limitation, power stage one more function. You need the FSC code tonight. So I hit the right here, so. Oh, I'm not see the DME record, right, so I'm not see the DME show up. You know, see, don't show, only show it for the KF of the AC application, um, roughly 11F and 140 and 141 and also 154. You see, the receiver audio model, which is the amplifier, this supposed to have also the. Um, the active sound design enabling night. This is the application IDC. It controls satellite tuner. That deactivated because the body domain controller was removed for the bus to the right then. And whenever somebody turned on terminal 15, alright, and the edge unit and all of these models here, RAM and KFOS does not see the VIN number from the factory. BDC, it also rejected or cancelled the FSC code. All of these things right here, so BMW are post sold in a little film because them things are in the bomb box like here, you know. The whole of this is a fuckery, you know, just the BMW. Both of them are counter theft. A fuckery, they might keep up because they get checked the channel, all of a problem now. If you go seek them, forget FSC code, right? And also, for Bumbara's cloud, reactivate the function again. If you go charge the blood cloud customer, them. Alright? 
And that's why I'm mean, not like come down to them places for I can work on BMW and other. Because them people that have posted them German board. I don't know what they said about that. They could post to them. I want to take a picture with a blood clot. Anyway, I'm going to go back at that. Let's go get the FSC code. The FSC code is there for the blood clot. I'm going to download them. I'm buy them. Look on the website. Yeah. The blood clot. Them, yeah. The VIN number for the car. Yeah. For the car, either car, blue color car. Yeah. For the blue color. Yeah. For the same blue color car. Look on the website. Yeah. Alright, so right, so I'm going to go down and download the repair pack. Right, that's our FSC map code. That's our refresh, that's our now. Head unit coding file, and this one now. Retro pack. And that's what I forgot about download. Yeah, I'm putting my password. That's how I get that piece right there. Alright, it's how to generate the repair. The repair FSC pack. Bomboras. I don't want to come back down here. I don't have a bomb buckler for 25 post the climb mile. Far up. Don't have a wall 12 miles. Far up. Don't have a wall at 12 miles. And 12 miles and something like that. If you come here and go back to me, you have 12 miles. 25 miles. It's like for us to go back to the road to post the wall. Or blood clot del ray beach in my youth. Far in a dog. Far bad man. Download the blood cloud file. Jesus. Come on, motherfucking phone. I stop blood cloud giving me a fucker blood cloud thing. So the FSD repair pack. Yeah. You can copy that pussy. I'll yeah. put it over here. You can put another folder here. Yeah. I'm going to look at the code in a minute. Yeah, see the 154, the 141, the 140. You see them? Them dead there. And also the other one, the 154160. What do you say? I'm going to look at the 11F. Let me look again. 154, 140, 140, 140. Let me look at blood clog. See there? 11F, see it for the K first. 11F. See it after? Them dead there. See them? And then 140. See them? I want to do so. So that right, let's see. See it? 140. Then 141. I just, I think I see it. You see it? Uh? It's dead. Uh? And then the 154, see it? You see it? It's dead. Uh, so for this. So all of them dead. Uh. But if we're going to create a bomb buck like measure up, no, no. Click software update now. You see it? But first, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go through this. But there's someone who bomb buckled that component blocking code. I don't want that there. I'm going to cancel that BLW. I'm going get that. That's a money. You know? Like, fuck you. I'm going to go delete transport mode. BD server transport mode active. You know? It also have a, a parameter set missing installation mode. Oh, the installation mode of the blood clad full pump needs to be um, turned off. See that? It's the installation mode active. That's it. Shut down. You know? Fuel pump control electronics parameter set missing or installation mode active. See there? I forgot going to the bomb buckler service function and delete that. And I have also forgot to delete also transfer mode out there. Alright. Transfer mode active in the BC and BDC and that's how you see the electronic fuel pump. It's going in installation mode. But then if it was a new pump, then put in it you now. But usually in a supposed to even have that if the pump come from factory. You see, but that you have a new BDC and a new BDC you now in a sleep mode. You see, yes. Once you see right here on the column existence and this existing column. Once you see yes, it means that all of these file code are currently pre present and active. As yes, if you see no like here, that means I can ignore this one. You see all this file code that says clutch function, 
the activation of emergency operation due to missing flexor signals is shown now because we perform flexor synchronization and all the control models on the flexor which would be these they correspond all of these with red wires these are on the flexor all of them fuck here see them on the red wire you look at the legends right here see this purplish wire you see this purplish red wire this is flexor this is flexor see them, this one right here so we have one, two, three, four modules on the flex rate. This VTG, EPS, Advanced Class System Model, DSC, and usually there's a flex rate wire here for the DME that goes to this EGL. See that? Yeah. So this is a part of it. One, two, three, four. This is the VTG, EPS, Airbag Model, DSC, and DME is on the flex rate. All of them models, you know, all five of them, one, two, three, four, five of them are synchronized. That's just what flex rate synchronization performs. You synchronize the clocks in them. All right? Otherwise, a bumble cloud engine and I start. You yeah, fuck. Nah, I'm post the clock, start dog. Uh, if they're not synchronized, the engine, nah, start. Get fucked. Alright, I go service function now and delete the transfer mode out of the um, fuel pump. And then, we're going to also delete the transfer mode out of the BDC. So, we're going to perform delete transfer mode. If we go down at the body, oh no, no, if we go down at drive, if we go down at this right, the maintenance, maintenance and delivery check in a service function of history. Go here, click on vehicle management, then service function, then it will open this tab, service function, then we'll come down here, maintenance and pre delivery check. And we're gonna also come down here, and we're gonna check some dream speech and look for ABL for, see, we have, you see, your ABL procedure for say transfer mode, we're gonna look for the one up here above it, delete transfer mode. All right, we close that. We're going to so boom. We're going to delete transfer bomb buckler mode. I will click as so I see that. Delete transfer mode and then carry out the pre delivery check. Yeah. We're going to set time and date now the cluster. All right. The time set now the cluster. You see it? 154 now. See that? Yeah. Because 154 from the phone. All right then. Boom. So the time set now that. But nevertheless, I still got to do it. All right. The delete transfer mode. It give them their blink. Carry kind of refresh the cluster and refresh all of that. And that bloom bloom bloom. All right, so we're gonna it says start pre start pre deliver check, but um should I go through with the pre deliver check? Yeah, let me go through it. Does it does it all set any fucking like a bullshit hiccup that might be there? Okay, the fault can be ignored if the option set date and time automatically selected in the vehicle. Okay, yeah, it said the fault can be ignored. Yeah, because the vehicle time is set there. The date and time is set there. Well, there it goes. Boom. So that's why I come up with this. All right. So setting up date and time fault. Yeah. Because the fault come up right here. So because we already have it set up right here. It's already in the cluster. So that's why it gives us this right here. This is a disclaimer. Telling us that we don't have to go through that shit. We don't have to go through that. So we'll go through other checks and see what we have to go. Okay. It's why I mean, you know, if we copy the phone number and put us up in the BMW dealership. But the blood tap. Oh, Brahman. Oh, Brahman. Phone number, go. let me look for them phone number. Yes. Okay, so the fuck are the phone number? Yeah. You have Deed and you have Broward Fox Deed phone number. Yes, I'm not gonna put in bomb book at one. You see, my keyboard is not working. Are you now? This is a BMW relevant roadside service in the USA, right? So, so if you go to look right here, so this is the USA. BMW Group Mobile Services, I just set to we right here, so we put in enter the currently valid phone number of the relevant BMW roadside assistant, country specific. So the country specific are right here, see that? And these are the relative phone numbers, so we're going to scroll down and look. Down to the bottom, I think we should find USA all the way down. Right here, here it goes. Good old USA. This is the number. Well, we, we can copy this shit. And then we copied it and paste the motherfucker right here. Here we go right here and click continue. And they're gonna say also once again now enter the current valid phone number for the responsible technical support department, country specific. So we're gonna again go back to the same list here. We're gonna go down to USA. We're gonna take this fucker. Okay, no we want the plus sign away from it. The plus I mean you have to add one before the 800 number and then you add the other numbers. Alright, so we have to leave out the plus sign. If you put plus sign here, it's not going to go through it. This run is going to become dull. It's not going to be highlighted black, the container button. And then we read right here, you know, enter the currently value for number for the dealership. 
all right so we're gonna put in this one here 305 blah 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 technical support let us see if the numbers are the same i don't know i really don't know if the numbers are the same united states um let us look at the numbers are the same. let us look at the same look at look at the same number my, my country are the same blood clan number if we punch in different number the dealership one if we put in one Five. Five seven one. The keyboard one bumbuck actually for a post order. One again and two. And one again and bumbuck are two. See that? Go forward with it. I said enter these phone number and the video. See them now? So we put in all three of them. You have to click this right, sir. And then to enter the phone number of the vehicle, it will either the continue one you click or so boom and go forward. It's a please wait. It's a try for online update, blah 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 blah. So, I'm gonna go through with it and so the boss. I'm gonna go through our thing now. I'm gonna pause the video for now. Okay, so I'm gonna go through All right, adjustment of the driving dynamic sensors, yaw sensor and acceleration sensor. And this is the reason why this, this dynamic stability or ABS symbol comes up, all right? This going to go away after we run the service function here. This is why this light will go away, this one. After a new body domain control, all right? This light right there. That will go away, that right there, boom. We have to perform this right here. Adjustment of the driving dynamic sensor, the yaw sensor, and the acceleration sensor that is located in the DSC. Let us look if it's going to go away. We're going to wait. It's no performing it right there. He said the next is going to be learned. He said adjustment of the driving dynamic sensor next. He said the control unit will be reset to apply the new learn values. This may result in additional fault members entry, entering the vehicle. See that? See that now? I don't know if they can go away yet, but wait. It should be something successful. Okay, the steering angle sensor was not initialized. So let's just do it now. I have to turn the steering wheel like this. I have to go back to that again. All right, we we'll come back. I said, no, it's stiff. All right, you see, it said, show said initialized successfully now. All right, the steering angle has been initialized successfully, but it made the steering stiff. All right, nevertheless, we we'll go forward with it. It put it power, it gives power to it, so you turn it quickly and turn it back quickly. So if it takes too long, it's gonna like take away the power, you know. Yeah, so nevertheless, if this will go away after the engine, I'll uh, probably restart it, something of the sort. All right, the battery right now is 69%. Battery kind of weak, it's below 70%. So uh, it's going to tell us to charge the battery, you know, right here. So we got to look at what it's saying. Recharge the 12-volt battery before and over the vehicle to the customer. All right, no big deal. The fault memories are being read. Please wait. I 
a bumbo cloud phone heavy see how man i use a ogetel wp22 fucking phone heavy try it out my finger you oops the water take too long you sure something we do check okay time time one day it falls but nevertheless the time one day arena the cluster that's a show of fault right here right yeah, so, um, all right, let's close out that post holder. We go find the fall code. This also, how much fall code left behind? Basically, 11 fall code left. 11, 11 post holder for just a little bit. 11 left out of 204. Let's see it. Alright YouTube, I've got, I've got to try to calculate a software measure plan. Alright, calculate display measure plan here. We are calculate measure plan now, see? I've got to try to see now how much control Please. model. Yo! What's up, man? Ready party, Ralph, go on. Blood clot, boy, I love smoke. No free smoke can kill him. How the blood clot, man? Smoking smell is lost in your fuck. All right, party. My pause the video for now. All right, now see now. So let's look at that reader. Activation code now um, re enabled now. See that was the function for something like Sarah Sexton. It was required FSC code. It's, yeah, it's not working in other car now. There it goes. Boom. The startup of the of the new fuel pump control electron is the, the installation mode of the fuel pump control electron must be switched off and parameters need to be set. This will take place in the next procedure. See, so whenever anybody install a new fuel pump in a car, you have to run this procedure right here called activation of the electronic fuel pump control mode electronics. And it said to start up a new fuel pump control electronics, the installation mode of the fuel pump electronics must be switched off all right so that's how the card is start and run and then you shut up i will press continue all right there's a little thing right this at the bottom a little post all right see now the fuel pump control electronics is put into operation boom it's supposed to now run the car is supposed to run now Uh, let us see if the fucking shit is going to run now. Put it back. Alright, here it goes. Alright, car now running. Sweet and nice. You're not supposed to shut off. This must be solved right now. We go here, trust and suspension. We're gonna address the dynamic sensor. We did this before, but we don't know why it now really. 
um, go through successfully. The steering nice and soft, you see? There's no EPS light on the steering and the, and the cluster, see? There's no EPS light here. So this is a DC light. Signal working. Amber working here. Oh, um, how's that light working? Everything working. One touch working. What is it working? Yes, it's working. Here, what Boom. The AC are gone. It's kind of hot. I'm going to cool down the AC, you know. Satellite radio work, everything at work. I don't know if the DSC light will come out, but I'll put so the R. Oh, maybe the button for the DSC turn off, that's all. Let me see if it's if it right there. I don't know. Oh, yes, I see it. Oh, I see it. Off. Oh. Let me press it. Okay, it's still not turned off. So let me press this. This doesn't move, you see? This turn on stability control, this right here. Alright, it's an Eco Pro. See this button here, Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro. So, right now it's on Eco Pro. We'll click, we're going to click Comfort. See, it changes the cluster. We'll click Sport. Alright, it's the Sport Plus. Alright. It's on this button right here, DSC off. Dynamic stop the control. These need to be started out. If I press this, it should turn this on and off. But this one, I think something needs to be adjusted right there in the DSC. I hope, hope, hope the DSC don't want to really need to be changed, you know. Our park, this is it right here. You push down, you, you pull it up to uh, engage park, and then you push it down, push it down to release park. See now? All right. Cool. That's it. Alright, nevertheless, we have completed a job on this car. There goes satellite, um, satellite service system ready now activated. So usually here in ISTD, oh, if we go start up the AC unit, but if we go perform this first, I adjustment of that. But let us go here in um, the vehicle equipment. Let us look at the FSCs are still rejected. Yeah, they're still so rejected for satellite tuner. And the satellite tuner probably gives us service radio. But there it goes, sorry, it's really working. There it goes. There it goes. Shit, I don't know why. Maybe I should read about the car, man. Or maybe the car needs to go in, look in uh, sleep mode. Let me do adjustment of the dry, 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 dynamic driving sensors. And uh, let us see if it will fix that light. Let me fix this light right here, over here. All right, now I've got to turn off the car again. But hold on, I'm supposed to get and fix this on the engine I run, right? Let me try it. But it run through this already. All right, it said right here, an adjustment of the driving dynamic sensors must be performed in the following cases. Initial operation or renewal of the DSC unit. And um, renewal of the DSC control unit, renewal of the airbag control unit, removal and installation of the airbag control unit. So we never do none of that shit, but somehow the light is on. And I think the light is, on, light is on because it's like loose communication with the BDC from factory, you know? For protection against damaging of drive and dynamic sensor system of the airbag control unit, be absolutely sure that the corresponding repair instructions are observed during removal and installation. The vehicle must be standing on a level surface during the adjustment. Yeah. yeah. All right. Prerequisite. The vehicle must be standing on a level surface during the adjustment. Adjustment on the v adjustment on the vehicle ice is not permitted. A clearly visible inclination of the body will lead to distortion of the internal sensor values. This can lead to operating failures, including fall code entries while driving. He said additional prerequisites. So make sure that the vehicle is not fully loaded during the adjustment. The chassis and suspension oxygeometry is set correctly. The right eye sensors must be put into operation. 
The atheist must be put into operation. Tire pressure is currently set. All right. We don't know if they're going to fail, but I try. Adjusting of the driving. Yeah, close it. Just close it for me. Close it. Close it. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Yeah. Yo, dog, you see? Let me see now. I said that during the adjustment, the PWF power driving status of the vehicle needs to be set. All right. So we're going to turn off the engine. And leave the ignition on. All right. Boom. We're going to turn off this right here. Uh Turn off that so that the battery doesn't suck down too much. We're running this procedure although the battery booster is on. Alright, so we're gonna see. Alright, it's a profound no calibration of the driving dynamic sensors. I don't know if it's gonna pass it, but somehow we're gonna look at the cluster. He said, the new values are only written to the memory of the control unit when the vehicle goes to sleep mode. He said, subsequently, an automated park, they call it park diagnosis analysis, PWF status change is carried out, including the vehicle being put to sleep. All right, no big deal. Restart the vehicle. The steps for the vehicle to restart are done automatically. The steps for the vehicle to restart are done automatically, if possible. First, a check is done to determine the vehicle as a testing, analysis, diagnosis, PRD status. If necessary, the testing, analysis, diagnosis, PRD status is established. All right. All right. See that establish it now? If I close the vehicle in a sleep mode. I don't know if we can lock the door. I don't know if we can lock the door. I don't know if we can lock the door. See that? If I push up the steering wheel of the air and show it on the screen. It's just a welcome. So um, the vehicle is restarted. It said, please wait. Come on, fucking autofocus. Don't play with me. And the other glass here telling you to have to show some patience and wait. He said, welcome. No. I'm out. The shit take long, man. What the fucking shit that took long? Open the fucking door. I need some here. This car system make you be like fucking nerd, man. Be in trouble. Right, there it goes. Steering come back down. All right, that's still on. Diagnostic mode active. All right, we're gonna. I yeah, saw so the checking the line on over there. All right. You said the adjustment procedure was concluded successfully. All right. We don't have nothing more to do. We don't know. We don't know nothing more to do. Start about DSE control unit because I did not. All right. Boom. The navigation at work, satellite service radio at work, and them thing there. See, some of you know the vehicle I'm supposed to done with this bomb buckler right now. No, no, what else to do? To make this fucking shit work. Cause this dynamic service control light not responding here to the button on the center, on the center console right here. This button is supposed to turn on and off. And it's not reacting. This light here not reacting. So I don't know if the DSC is on. DSC on. Okay. Chassis stabilization active. Okay. It responded here on the CID. Because I just turned it on. All right, boom. So maybe it's on now. Maybe that's the that symbol mean on, on. Because I just turned it on there. And it just showed it. So all right, maybe the car is okay. Oh, don't worry about fucking self. Start it back. All right. 
All right, the car is running now, man. My job is done. Give thanks. New body domain control program and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, this right here, drive malfunction. It's all about the DLC. It's all about this light again. It's that one. We got to fix that one. Um, But I don't know. Let me go look at the fall code. Let me see what the fall code is saying. Man, fuck this. The fall code, uh, how much is 11? It does say a transmitter, invalid transmitter, DAC, yes. Signal, actual roadway, longitude. All right, maybe. Oh, the vehicle got to put to sleep mode. Let me delete this shit. Let me see what come back. It's 11 fall codes. It's going to turn up the vehicle. I'm actually currently deleting fall codes. So. All right, it says right here, they can perform the automatic so I can turn it off right here. You can put in residing. So it's in right here, the automatic. It's not a strange as fate, so I have to do it. I never click next. It should go through. There it goes. Once the software is residing, meaning that the vehicle is not running. Should it come back on? It says activate pad now. Boom. All right. Oh, no, shit. We have 16 phone calls. Wicked. Really? Started? Yeah, it started, yeah. No, 17 fall code. Let me see what the issue is. The FSC for the DME to be written there. There you are. Oh man, after we calculate metro plan and then program over the car, update the car. Old fucking thing again. I don't like this shit, dog. <laughs> That's a whole lot of shit service function to be carried on. Center of gravity, the actual roadway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna drop the DC, now I'm gonna drop something. So, then fuck it, I'm not really worried about them. So, support from driver assistance system restricted, close uh, the FSC code right here. A problem again. Alright YouTubers, we come to a conclusion of this car. Right now the car is starting and running. There it goes. Boom 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 boom. Alright. Alright YouTubers, thank you for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out. Bloom.